my daughter exposed to everyone my cheating wife's secret. I'm 42M. My wife is 43F. Been married since we were 19. Next year will be our 25th anniversary. We have three daughters. A 19-year-old at college and twin 15-year-olds. Everything at home is mostly like normal. My wife has always worked and had individual outside interests like yoga, pottery, etc. That's fine. So do I. In the last several months, something has just been off. Like a disturbance in the force. Hard to pinpoint, but always there. She's a little more distant sometimes, even during love. We still do our regular weekend morning lovemaking, but lately it feels like her mind is elsewhere. She's present in our marriage, but not present. I ask if something is bothering her, but she says, no every time. I wouldn't suspect infidelity, but she has been spending more time out of the house alone in the last few months. Probably last six months. She was busy, but always upbeat and very energetic and almost giddy. Maybe three plus weeks ago that changed. She started being around much more but aloof. She now comes up to my office in the house and hangs out with me, but is like sad all the time. She wants to be around me all the time which I love, but the way she's acting is freaking me out a little. The weird thing is our twins are acting weird too. They're being extra sweet to me and offering to help with taking trash out, etc. and trust me that is not typical behavior for them. It's like they all know I have disease or something and I don't know. Their weird slash loving behavior started several weeks ago about the same time as my wife's weird behavior. The only reason I'm on this sub is because I looked at our Verizon bill two months ago and there was a ton of texts with her and some unknown number. I asked about them and she said it was one of her girlfriends. I looked at her phone and there were zero texts with that number. I asked again and she said she deleted them to save space but no other thread was deleted that I noticed. This last six months has been weird but the last three weeks has been weirder. Edit. I decided to call my oldest daughter yesterday. I told her everything I said in my first post and she told me she was going to talk to her sisters. The twins idolize her and fear her a lot if they piss her off. She called me early this morning and said she talked to the twins and she's coming home Friday for the weekend so we can talk. I told her you can't leave me hanging like that. My heart can't take it. Tell me what's going on. She said it's bad, but could have been worse, told me not to worry, and that the soonest she can come home and talk is Friday. She said it's bad, but there's some good too. The twins swore her to secrecy. They and my wife do not know our oldest daughter is coming home this weekend and she said not to tell them. She was adamant about that. Sorry that isn't much of an update. I guess I have to wait until Friday. A lot of replies here have me scared to death as well as other threads I've read here. It's like things like this never have a happy ending. I fear the worst. I think she has had an affair and that the twins know. My daughter was cryptic in her phone call and obviously doesn't want to talk about this on the phone. Update It wasn't a co-worker or someone from one of her hobbies, it was a friend of ours. The husband of one of the couples we were good friends with. Of course he'll never be a friend again and I'm adamant about informing his wife. The twins busted her out with him when she was supposed to be at yoga. They were really upset and confronted her. She said she wasn't going to leave me or anything even remotely like that. It was just a fling. They both liked how it felt to be like kids dating and sneaking around. She really didn't think how devastating it would be. What she has put the twins through is almost unforgivable. She ended it immediately and was planning on taking the secret to the grave. She told the girls she should carry the guilt and that if she told me it would ease her guilt but crush me, it has. They agreed, and they were all going to keep this a secret. My oldest daughter went off on all of them. She was furious. I'm still thinking about everything. I packed a bag and left, which caused my wife to collapse to the floor as a blubbering mess. I shut off the location services on my phone and left. I drove about an hour away and got a cabin in one of our state parks. 
I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Only my oldest daughter knows where I am. She came and visited today, and we had a great chat. She said of course her mother would do something like this, because she's been a pathetic cliché her whole life. My wife follows trends. Yoga, essential oils, CBD. Any shiny new thing that comes along, and she gets obsessed by it. Now she's middle-aged and being yet another cliché. The twins are furious at their mother and scared I'm not going to come home. I honestly don't know if I am. I really don't want to talk to them right now either. My oldest said she's coming home as soon as her semester is over and she's going to make their lives a living hell. She had to leave a couple hours ago and go back to school and now the sadness sets in. I'm a middle-aged guy sitting alone in a cabin who thought he had the rest of his life planned out and now I don't. I probably won't post again about this. I'm going to stay here as long as I can afford it and figure out my next move. Update I asked her to leave to give me space. She said, and I quote, No. I will not abandon our beautiful life and love because of my stupid mistake. I will fight for us to my last breath and fix this. We will get through this. I am so sorry. I can't even put down in words how sorry. Just come home and let me make this right. We will overcome this. You and I can do anything. This is how she is. How she's always been. She's very stubborn, so I don't know what to do. I do want space. I've enjoyed being at this cabin. The hiking trails are amazing and have been very therapeutic. I know it's very temporary and I need to go home, but I also know my wife. With what she said it would take God himself to get her out of there. She also won't give me space. I know if I go home she'll smother me and work me down incessantly until I go along with whatever her plan is. I'd rather not go back for a while. I need to be ready to withstand her onslaught of love and rationalization because she is a guru of that. She reads all these self-help and motivational books and websites. I paid cash for a week at the cabin. I did that so she wouldn't know where I am or she would have tracked me down and shown up here. I've already gotten emails that a different device has logged on to my credit card sites. Both of them. That's her. I knew if I paid by credit card that she'd look it up and track me down. I also talked to the twins and told them they were put in a horrible spot, it wasn't their fault, and that dad loves them. They said mom was a blubbering mess Friday, but by late Saturday she was in her I can fix this, we shall overcome mode. She is supposedly reading everything she can find online about fixing your marriage after you cheated. That's how she is. She'll obsess over this. I just want more alone time so I can process everything. Update I was driving back and forth for work from the cabin, but lucky me, the coronavirus came along and now we're all working remotely. That's my since I'm about 100 miles away from home. I've been allowing my wife a couple minute phone call with me per night. Just enough to let everyone know I'm fine, but I don't want to be bothered. I communicate with my daughters by text. Young people don't realize you can actually call people with their smartphones. Anyway, I know I can forgive my wife, but God's honest truth, I don't see any way I can stay with her. Call me stubborn or bullheaded, but I have my pride as a man and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how I maintain my pride as a man and stay in this marriage. I think those two things are mutually exclusive. If I want to keep my pride as a man, then I have to divorce her for such an egregious offense against our marriage and me. If I want to stay in the marriage, then I have to surrender my pride as a man. I don't think I could live like that. I don't want to have that discussion with my wife, because she'll twist it all up and within an hour have me agreeing with her logic. Have you ever met one of those people that get their way with everyone? That's her. Someone please tell me that I could stay in this marriage and keep my pride as a man. Is that possible? I mean really possible and not faking it? Update My best friend said I'm in shape, make decent money, and I'm a nice guy so I'll be in high demand with women our age. To be honest though, I think I'd rather be alone and live somewhat of a selfish life. 
Do what I want to do, eat what I want, go where I want, and not worry about anyone else for a while. My time is up at the cabin. I'm trying to lease an apartment, but that's harder than you think right now, with this virus going on. I told my wife there is no way for me to stay with her and keep my dignity. I told her I wouldn't be the man she claimed to love if I stayed with her. I'd be a broken man with no dignity and I'd resent her. I told her we can't live like that. She said we can work it out and that I'm the only man she loves. I said obviously our marriage sucks if you did what you did. We talked and agreed that it's time to split. I talked with my twins who are heartbroken about everything. They know I love them and will always be there for them. I gave it a lot of deep reflection and there is no way I could stay with a person who betrayed me like that. My self-respect and dignity are important to me and I'd lose both if I stayed.